everyone, it's Lisa from My Dream and So. Thanks so much for popping into my channel and spending some time with me. I do really appreciate it. Now, this soap is going to be sort of a marble design type soap. Now, to be honest, the finished soap sort of looks a bit like marble. I don't think I got it quite right. But anyway, it's still a nice soap. I do still really like it. Um, it smells nice and it is a good design, but I must admit, I, I don't think I would look at it and go, oh, yeah, nailed that marble effect there. Anyway, come on, shall we go and see how we did it? Let's go and make some soap. So for my marble soap, let's have a look at what's going to go in it. First of all, fragrance oil. <laughs> I couldn't really think of a fragrance that said marble or anything like that, so I just randomly picked a new fragrance that I've got, and it's called Glory Fragrance Oil, so I'm going to be using that one. And this is from Oasis Oils. And then currants and everything. I've got some activated charcoal already predispersed in oils from my batch. And again, the same with some golden shimmer from Mica Mama. Now I'm gonna use this as a mica drizzle. So this is dispersed probably slightly more than I normally would. I've sort of done a two parts oil to one part mica in here, which is probably more than I'd normally disperse it, but then I'm gonna use it as a drizzle in my soap. And then titanium dioxide, again, dispersed in oils and I've got more of the golden shimmer I'm just going to have dry because I need to be using that as a mica line going through. So those are all my bits and pieces that I've got. Now I am going to sort of do this in some layers, but they're not going to be structured layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very lightly mix all of my oils and my lye and my sodium lactate just very gently mix it together so it's mixed. And then I'm gonna split some off and do my first layer. Okay, so I'm not even emulsified there. I'm literally just got the two bits mixed together just so I don't have to bother about weighing out individual amounts. So I will need to blend that a little bit more. So I'm going to pour about a, a sort of a third of this. These layers, if anything, don't want to be even. So I'm not worried if they're not even. Okay, so I can definitely see with that that it's not yet emulsified. I can sort of see some oil splitting away at the top. And that's fine because I made sure I mixed and mixed and mixed it before I split it off. So I am just going to give this a little bit more of a blend. And I just want to pour a small amount of this off for a little accent colour. Don't want very much at all. Might have a bit too much there. Okay, and then let's get these coloured. So the main amount, now I've calculated the titanium dioxide that I need for all of my white and normally if I was doing white in several layers I would actually mix all my white in one go but again here because this is supposed to be marble and natural stone I don't mind if there's some slight differences going through what will sort of be these various areas of the marble. 
my activated charcoal, what I've done is I've weighed out how much activated charcoal I've used here. So there's probably more than I actually need. And then I'm going to weigh it again so I can see how much I've used in this soap, just for my recording and everything. So I'm just going to add my fragrance oil. Now I do want this to be on the, you know, I don't want it to be flat layers as it were. So I want it to be slightly angled. So I'm just going to prop up this mold on one side. Okay, and then going to get this poured in. So I'm just going to add that black in there. I'm going to give it a very light swirl because I don't want to muddle these colours up. And then I'm just going to get that poured into the mould. And then as I'm running out of that black, I'm going to add some more in here. That's quite sort of lumpy bumpy, but, but that's fine. I don't want a big flat layer. So the next thing I need to do is do my mica line. Now, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I don't like mica lines. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't actually do this when we did the soap challenge. I chose the other category, which was to make sort of pebble type stones. But let's go in and pop in a mica line. Now, on the rare occasion that I do these, I normally like to just put a little bit of some tights over the end of my mica and sprinkle that in, but I can't find any to use. So I'm just going to go for the old doing it with the tea strainer effect. I think that's enough. It doesn't completely cover that area, but that's fine. I don't need it to be a solid line all the way across. It would be more natural if it's not. Now I am just going to wipe off these sides because I don't want the outside of my soap to be all goldy shiny. So I'm going to try and get rid of that excess mica. one especially if you're watching Tammy. Tammy from Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Hang on let me just change my camera angle. I have just knocked over all of my activated charcoal so I'm gonna clean that up and be back. about the others you 
Okay, so there we are. So I'm just going to tap this down to make sure my bars are level. I'm not going to do anything to the top because I like the top like that. Now, with a lot of marble soaps, people do cut them horizontally or vertically. I'm, I think I'm going to cut mine vertically. That's the way that I've planned to do it. So this won't be the face of the soaps. This will be the top of the soaps. Okay, so I'm now going to cover this. I can't see pop it because it won't fit in my oven, so I'm just going to cover it, wrap it up, keep it nice and warm, and just hope it goes through gel. So here's our soap the next day, and you can see it looks really quite cool from the outside, and I do like that mica drizzle that's going through, and you can see, you can sort of start to see the layers and that mica line that's in there. Okay, so let's have a look at a couple of these bars. So in these first ones, it, it's sort of a little bit more swirly than I wanted. I've obviously dropped the batter in a little bit too hard. The mica line I'm trying to show you there has come out quite nicely. So it's a bit fuzzy on the screen, but I think maybe I should have just shielded that soap as it went in or poured it in a little bit lower to the mold to stop the sort of almost almost it's almost got a little drop swirl effect to it but overall I am quite pleased with it I guess it just doesn't really say oh this looks like marble to me now one of the reasons I wanted to do a voiceover for this part of the video just while you're looking at the other soaps is I may be away from YouTube for a little bit over the next month I've got a couple of really big projects on at the moment and one of them I've been <laughs> getting stuck on because I just haven't had enough time to do it so uh, please bear with me if I disappear and don't necessarily do a video every single week for the next few weeks um, I am still around I'm just really really busy doing other things and I will get back as soon as I possibly can and then, as normal, I'll just leave you with a final photo of the soap. As I said, I do actually quite like it. I think maybe just too much black in it or something that's not making it look like marble, but I like the soap. It smells great and it's great soap. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, it would be great if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see what I'm doing in the future, why not subscribe to my channel? Thanks so much for watching, everyone. 
Happy soaping! <laughs>